Sometimes you walk up on a deer and you really don't even know where to start. I didn't realize the tine length on this deer. Amazing, unbelievable. And you know, this deer is huge and he doesn't even have much for brow tines. Welcome back to another episode of Real Trees Monster Buck Vault. I am here with a buck that may be Michael Waddell's shortest hunting trip ever. Taken in 2012, Monster Bucks 21, Michael hunting in Iowa with Gabe Adair at Whitetail Properties. I can't wait to see what this deer actually scores. When you look at a G3 and you see it is over 12 inches, 12 and 2 eighths inches long on the G3, that's, that's big. The G2 back here is the exact same length, 12 and 2 eighths inches. You got 24 and a half inches in two times. Don't discount the length of this G4 either. You're looking at eight and a half inches, but he has very little offer as far as brow tines. He's got a two and a half inch brow tine on the right side. You know, when you're hunting in the Midwest, you always want to make sure you go to the right place. So trust me, Gabe Adair at Whitetail Properties, he manages his property like nobody else. But I don't think anybody realized that Michael would be tagged out within two hours of arriving in camp. Unbelievable. Got him. First night in Iowa, and we have just shot a giant first night. What in the world have we just shot the beast of the Midwest? So much bigger than I thought he was. When you add it all up on this buck, with really two and a half inches of brow tines, this buck still grosses 170 inches. Wow, an incredible buck from Iowa with Michael Waddell. Join us next week on Real Trees Monster Buck Fall as we take a look at Monster Bucks 25, and we're gonna give away a copy to one lucky winner.